Hey, kids, first a message to all of those who have recently auditioned. Thank you so much. You are brilliant and you're on the list. All of you listeners are welcome to join. Just go to buykidsforkids.co and click on audition. And a huge thanks to our Patreon supporters. Without you, we could not produce this podcast. We hope you keep enjoying all of your wonderful rewards. We had so much fun recording kids for the latest episodes. Let me introduce them to you. I'm Omar Yusuf and I'm nine and a half. I live in Houston, Texas, and I really like sports and video games. Hi, my name is Leo. I'm five years old. I live in Canada. My favorite thing is listening to Baggage for Kids, and I love playing soccer and watching my sister do her classes of gymnastics. Hi, my name's Emmy. I'm five years old and I'm from Korea and I like chocolate. My name is Nuna. I'm five years old. I'm from Houston and I like to go to school. Well done, guys. You are superstars. Okay, Ruby, let's get on with the story. The Language of Beasts Once upon a time, in a faraway kingdom, there was a young prince named Dimitri who had a very unique ability. He could understand and communicate with animals. He could speak their language. The king, his father, had three sons, but Dimitri, the youngest one, was often neglected and ridiculed by his older brothers. <laughs> you sound like a donkey, laughed the eldest brother. No, he doesn't, jeered the second brother. He sounds like a goose. However, Dimitri didn't mind their teasing and instead spent most of his time exploring the world around him, talking to birds, squirrels, and all the other creatures. <laughs> For example, if you saw him chatting to a snail, you would have heard him making a slimy sound with his mouth. The snail would answer, which translates as, It's great to carry my house on my back. It's not very heavy, and it keeps me cozy. What if you like having that? My favorite food? I have to say... Lettuce leaves. Dimitri could also be seen having intense conversations ooh, ooh, with an orangutan uh, uh. Ooh, ooh, uh, uh. who would say, which translates as, Why are we here? What is our purpose? Hmm, to live a happy life, to be part of a caring community, to bring joy to others. And to eat bananas. One day, a great danger threatened the kingdom. A fierce dragon had been attacking nearby villages, destroying houses and farms, and killing innocent people. The king had no idea how to deal with this terrible threat and he declared that whoever could defeat the dragon would receive great rewards. The two elder princes saw this as an opportunity to prove themselves as brave warriors and set out to slay the dragon. However, Dimitri was not allowed to join them on this dangerous mission. His brothers laughed at him. You too, weak little brother. Yes, just go and speak to your hamsters. And off they rode. <laughs> that evening, the brothers returned. Their clothes were torn to pieces. Their hair had been burnt. Only a few patches remained. The horses were in such panic that they threw the brothers onto the ground and ran off neighing loudly. Only 
Dimitri understood what the horses were saying. Those brothers are such morons. So idiotic. And off they galloped. The brothers crawled off to the palace, saying, It's too strong. It can't be beaten. Dimitri thought for a moment and then decided to try his luck. He followed the tracks where the horses had come from until he reached a clearing in the forest. Here, all of the trees were burnt. Pieces of burnt skeletons could be seen on the ground. In the middle of the clearing was a massive dragon stretched out on the ground, sleeping. Dimitri bravely stepped a little closer. A twig broke under his foot. The dragon's eyes shot open and glared at the boy. A snack! It bellowed as it stood up and stretched. A delicious human snack! It twisted its neck down to have a closer look at Dimitri. A little small, it said, licking its lips. But I'm sure you'll be tasty once you've been toasted. It opened its huge mouth. Dimitri could see rows of razor-sharp teeth. A fire was forming at the back of his throat. Wait! shouted Dimitri. Almighty and majestic dragon! I have come to challenge you. The dragon paused. It was surprised to hear a human speaking its language. A challenge? What challenge? Let's have a contest. What kind of contest? To see who's the strongest? Whose claws are the sharpest? Whose breath is the hottest? No. Let's see who is... The cleverest! I challenge you to a riddle contest. You ask me a riddle, and then I ask you a riddle. The first to answer incorrectly loses. If I lose, you can roast me for dinner. If you lose, you leave the kingdom forever. The dragon seemed amused by this suggestion. It sat down on its huge behind and said, Challenge accepted. My first riddle for you is, I am always hungry. I must always be fed. The finger I touch will soon turn red. What am I? Dimitri sat down on a burnt log and thought for a minute. At last, he said, A fire! Very good, said the dragon. Now my turn, said Dimitri. What is so fragile that saying its name breaks it? Um, silence, answered the dragon. Dimitri gave a short clap of admiration. What has a head and a tail but no body? What begins with T, ends with T, and has T in it. A teapot. What gets wetter and wetter, the more it dries. A towel. What has a face and two hands, but no arms or legs? Um... The dragon was getting a bit tired. A clock. What has to be broken before you can use it? That's easy, an egg. What can you hold in your left hand, but not your right? Um, your right elbow. The dragon's brain was overheating. It wasn't used to so much thinking. 
Love goes through cities and fields, but never moves. A road. Wood has a thumb and four fingers, but is not alive. Um. Ah.、Uh, oh, I give up. What is it? A glove. Ah, <laughs> you win. I must say, you're a very clever boy. I enjoyed your challenge. All right, I agree to leave your kingdom. The kingdom was safe. From that day on, the youngest prince was no longer mocked by his older brothers. They respected him for his special abilities and bravery and wisdom. He spent his days happily chatting and discussing things with animals. Hey guys! If you like this episode, please share it with your friends and family. It is one of the best ways to support BKFK Storytime.